Hi guys, so we are at Staley Bridge New Tunnel and it's, I think, as you can see, you can see Richard and Ant falling down there, but this is a collaboration with Ant from Trekking Exploration. If you haven't seen his channel, go out and check it out. Uh, I'll put the link in the thing below. Um, so this is, like I said, Staley Bridge New Tunnel. It's on the Micklehurst, new li uh, Micklehurst Loop Line and um, I'll be doing all of that in a explore, like several videos. Um, on like different days throughout the year so check those videos, videos out when they go up but yeah we're just checking out this um, tunnel today um, so let's go see um, what it's like inside so after coming down the steep hill which was definitely an ordeal there's uh, some couple of recesses on either side and we are going to be venturing in there and as you can see, Ant is lighting up the place. Um, the tunnel is 315 yards long each and it comes out, it's come out on a viaduct crossing over the Huddersfield Narrow Canal. Um, so yeah, let's take a look inside, see what else there is. So it's lined with blue bricks. Yeah, I think it was a, was it the Land Dudno train that crashed into a goods train? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And the guard jumped off, didn't he, to avoid his death? Yeah. Here we have Staley Bridge in the late 1800s to early 1900s. As you can see, Staley Bridge is in the middle to left corner of the picture. The, the line we're looking at today branches off from the right out of the station and goes straight through Staley Bridge New Tunnel before carrying on its journey up towards Diggle and the Micklehurst loop line. So we've got a second recess on the right hand side. As Ant said, we've got a reflective panel on the side. Um, our first recesses with the two outside and then we've got one that's just over there in the corner on the left hand side. So we'll take a walk up and see what else there is. There's a few like ballasts left on the floor. And as you can see down here, oh, the walls look quite nice. Like I said, it's blue brick lined. So as you can see, the tunnel here is slightly higher than the tunnel what ceiling at the other side. Sorry my light's not very good, but it's built four foot higher than the ceiling. And we were just pondering over the reason why, like was it to do with the lay of the land, was it to do with the buildings on side? And the network rail have kindly put in this wonderful sign for us. Approximate site of shaft, but it's filled in, and that's because they had one construction shaft while they was building this tunnel, but then they filled it in. So nice of them to put this wonderful little sign for us. So let's take a close look at that. It's a shame part of it's missing, but it's still a good sign. So we're just going to look down there and look at the other end of the tunnel, see any more room. Like, see if there's any rails down or sleepers, anything like that. Because um, this tunnel's given us a lot to look at so far. So, yep. Here we have a recess that's pretty much almost blocked up. Like, how are you supposed to get into there? We're near, near the end, as Richard. <laughs> Um, so yeah, just look at this recess. Like, can't really get in behind there. It looks like that the track bed's been hired somehow, like, um, dragged a load of crap in, made it higher, but you can tell by the height of the mud at the side of the recesses. Um, I'm having a mini for shooting down there. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so yep we're just gonna keep walking see if there's anything else further up um it's got a lot of ballast still down to say that the rubble's been like higher there's some more ballasts here on the floor we're approaching a wall now this is where the viaduct with the crossed over the canal and over the streets of Staley Bridge that carries the Micklehurst loot line towards Stiggle. But we'll cover that in another video. I can just see two more recesses at the end. And as you can see here, the track bed lowers again, maybe reaching its original track bed level. Some nice graffiti on the wall at the end. These recesses are a lot wider than the ones in the tunnel. Uh, let's see if we can get in and have a closer look. So you can fit about two or three people in here. And there's the one at the opposite side. Let's go take a closer look at that one. See the brick slightly exposed there. Got raindrops on my camera. So this one's in a bit more disres disrepair. There's even a scooter here so I could scoot my way back out. That'll save my legs a bit of walking. Which is far as we to climb up on. So we can take a look over the wall and show you what the there he goes. Man of many talents. You can see where all the soot on the walls is from like when all the steam trains used to pass through. Like there you've got brick and here they've just got soot and you can see it all on the ceiling. Mostly like you're just on the walls. We're on our way out now, so we'll see what else we can find. I've noticed that the floor changes height a lot, but it doesn't feel like it's changing height. When there was also constructing this tunnel, the church above had to cancel services because the construction shaft made the church have cracks in it um, due to the construction, obviously. So they cancelled services while they was building the tunnel. So this is the other side of the tunnel portal. Um, if you remember we were just on the other side of this wall and this wall is about 10 foot high and look how gorgeous the stonework is it's got a little bit of fencing down the side as Ant pointed out in his video same fencing at this side which is hiding out the way Ant says hello, hello. <laughs> we had to climb all the way up here which was extremely difficult and you see that blue bridge it's built on the, Nol the old Knoll Street viaduct which I'll insert a picture of um, but we're going to do this section in a different video um, if you'll follow me along for that bit of the journey but for now we're just admiring this beauty So I just want to say thank you for coming along with us to um, see Steel and New Tunnel. Um, Ant's gone for his train now, so it's just me and Richard. I'm sat in the car because he just grabs a little pub lunch and a drink um, over the Royal George Tunnel, um, which you will see in another video. Um, so.
so yeah that's it this is my little outro so and um, we'll see you all in the next video hopefully and um, which should be the next sex section of the Micklehurst loop or it could be another tunnel which we're looking at doing on Friday so keep an eye out for those videos um, they should be going up I don't know when actually this video will obviously all go up first and then never I upload this video <laughs> I'm hoping it'll be going out this week but this is filmed on the 6th of December so who knows when it'll go out but if it's out in this week it'll be a miracle so good luck but yeah thank you for watching guys and stay tuned for the next episode of the Micklehurst Loop Line um, which I want to say goodbye bye um, I'm sure Anne says goodbye too um, it's goodbye from me so thank you for watching guys see you in the next one